we're going to take a look at a shoulder abduction assessment. So checking out your shoulder flexibility here. We're going to stand with the feet roughly hip width apart. We're going to contract our glutes, rib cage down, hands by our side. Now from this position, I'm going to start to lift the arms up, keeping the arms straight. I can start to rotate the palms to face up. And then I'm going to try to bring the biceps to the back of my ears in this position here. Okay, so we're trying to work on how high can you lift those arms? Can you bring the biceps to the back of the ears? And what we're after here is not overly extending the spine. We're maintaining that very sort of neutral spine, rib cages down. You can see that I can push my head forward slightly and have my ears in front of my biceps, and then back down to the sides. So we're just looking at how far you can bring those arms up or abduct those arms. Can you bring the biceps behind the ears? What we often see with someone who's lacking the shoulder flexibility, they might get to this position, the elbows might start to bend, they might have to lift their chest and arch their back, and we don't want any of that to happen. So really think about tight glutes, rib cage down, keeping the arms straight and just going as high as you possibly can. Another thing that often happens is the arms stay straight, but they come forward in this position here, which is perfectly fine. Like you can still do the test like this, but what we're aiming for eventually is to get biceps to ears in this position. And that is the shoulder abduction assessment.